Well, you've just watched a whole bunch of videos in the Packet Pushes live stream, and I'm joined with Amar again. He is the founder, along with Amit, of Alkira, and they've actually had a string of successes, and we go back a little ways. But tell me, what's the story behind, what's the corporate overview of Alkira? If people have just watched all those videos, what is it that you would tell them about Alkira that you need to know? Greg, we've been in the industry for over 30 years now, and I founded uh, Viptela, and uh, you know it's uh, one of the leading SD-WAN solutions. And after that, I took a year off and uh, was thinking of the next biggest problem in the industry, yeah. right? And uh, it was a challenge to find something. And then I realized that, uh, you know, uh, cloud, after talking to a lot of customers and, you know, doing a lot of research, uh, cloud is an area where networking was lagging behind. And uh, not only from the cloud perspective, uh, but uh, also from multi-cloud perspective as well. So if you if you look at multiple clouds, everybody does their things in their own way. They're all mm. you know different. Uh, there are yeah. nuances, there are limitations, and so we thought that that was an area to address for the customers. And then we started to realize that cloud offers enormous amount of resources, right? And why can't we utilize it to build networks for the future? And that's what we have done, that we have not only solved the multi-cloud problem, but we have solved an end-to-end -end problem for the enterprise customers and in a holistic manner. And also integrated, as you know, the high layer services as well as uh, you right. know, um, visibility. So there's some takeaways from that. And I'll add in some of my own commentary about what Alkira is, and I hope that's okay. So yeah. you've got 30 years, you've been working at other vendors before you started in the startup Landia. Uh, you even had a startup before Viptela, which was successful yep. and you managed to get away. So this is your third startup. So that's, if I was looking at you from a credibility perspective, there's a, there's a history there, right? Uh, the second thing is that you're working in the hybrid cloud, multi-cloud, but increasingly what I think of as the network of network space. That is, Alkira is solving that problem that here's my SD-WAN, here's my data center, Here's the Google proprietary network. Here's the AWS. Here's the Azure proprietary network. Then there's my legacy. I need, I've got a legacy MPLS. I might have some direct connect, but I've got some stuff on the internet. And the challenge there is how do I stitch all that together into a single fabric? Now, the challenge there, of course, is as an architect, I don't actually know where I'm going. Am mm. I going to be in Google? Am I going to be using direct connect? Am I going to be, mm. right? And your solution actually has an answer for, and I'm going to go, I'm going to go, we're going to go big here all of those yes yes that's absolutely right greg and uh, you know as, as customers start to deploy applications in different clouds mm -hmm. it's one application applications are optimized for certain clouds right like microsoft applications may be more optimized for azure there may be certain other applications which may work much yeah. better google yeah. or aws so every single customer that we are talking to by definition has deployed applications in different cloud or they are going to do that soon enough. So I right. don't know of any customer who's not going to be a multi-cloud customer. And by definition, if you're a <laughs> hybrid cloud customer, you're also a multi-cloud customer. So why not have a ubiquitous way of solving problems across all these environments, right? Yeah, and that's the challenge is architecturally, you don't know where you're going to be. Yeah. Like as a network architect, you might want to say, well, I am only going to build on-prem. And that yes. works fine until you acquire a company <laughs> that <laughs> is all in with the is all in with Google Cloud. Well, all of a sudden you're in the Google Cloud, you know, whatever yeah. I'm like, or you get a SaaS and now you need to manage the SaaS part of it, right? Yeah. There and these networks are largely incompatible. And you know, as we've spoken about, the the pitch that you would say to people is, as I understand it at least, is there is a need to bring all of those networks together in a unified way. And the Alkira technology is based on this idea. You send the traffic into our network. Our network has these middle boxes, which can then forward the traffic quickly, find mm -hmm. low latency paths. You can modify it as it moves across the network. If you need me, I can do, I can, I can do anything to it. I can security scan it. I can run it through third-party firewalls if that's what I need to be. That idea, that flexibility for any situation is is really at the heart of what you're offering. Yeah, and also it's delivered as a service. The industry has never seen anything like this before, right? Where you can configure a whole network end-to-end -end within minutes and provision it in uh, less than an hour uh, mm -hmm. in majority of the cases. And that's at the global scale, right? And that's the excitement in the industry 
is that it doesn't all only give you the power that you need to control your environment from the networking perspective, but it allows you to do it at the speed of business, as our customers say. Yeah, you don't have to go and deploy a box. You just spin it up. You get yeah. the traffic into the Alcara network, and then you can do whatever. And we saw that uh, when we were prepping, we were chatting with you and one of your customers. And right. uh, at the end of it, the, the, you know, he popped up and said, oh, yeah, now while we were chatting, I just deployed a new site. <laughs> and it really is that easy because everything you're doing is deployed in somebody else's cloud on somebody else's infrastructure, which means exactly. you're leveraging the power of what's in place to go forward. So Brownfield is the way forward. You're not, you don't need to throw something out. You don't need to replace anything. It just adds to builds on top of. Exactly. And that's, that's very important for the customers. They cannot forklift their environment right away. It over time, migration always takes time. Right. And say, so they have to slowly adopt the new environment in addition to what they have today. Right. And then migrate towards uh, the future. And that's how networking world, uh, world works, because it's all mission critical, all applications. You cannot, you know, your network cannot be down. Right. Oh. And if it goes down, you have to bring it up quickly. Right. Well, it and, not, <laughs> nominally, it cannot be down. It can, it can be down if it has to be, but you don't want to have to take it out of service to do something to it. Exactly. Because exactly. that has such ramifications. You take out so many services when your data center network goes down, the whole company stops. It's not like you're just right. taking down a branch or whatever. So, yeah. so we have addressed some fundamental problems like high availability, right? Mm. Multi-zone, multi-region, right? We have also solved the problem of elasticity which the networking folks always promised, but we were not able to get there because the technology was not ready. Now with the enormity of the cloud and multiple cloud environments that we can utilize to build our infrastructure, we can offer that elasticity to the customer. So let's take an example of a retail customer who are you know, mar margin constrained anyways, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They don't want to provision for the peak hours during the holiday season for the remainder of the year. Yeah. They just want to have more resources available on demand right and those resources should magically go away when they don't need them mm -hmm. why should they have to pay for the peak hour so the deployment in the cloud of building solutions in the cloud addresses those major problems for the customers yes. i can imagine that companies that are watching this are looking at and saying well i want most of my stuff to be in my data center but we're going to do something in the cloud right and that yeah. app that goes into the cloud that 20 percent, the 80 20 rule the ubiquitous you know idea yeah. Yeah, that 20% yeah. that goes in the cloud mm -hmm. might be that scalable once a year app, you know, or that, that peak loading or unpredictable loading type thing. But it doesn't matter from a networking point of view. Once you're in the cloud, you're in the cloud and your you're network has to be there. Right, and right, you can't right. just, and so many people who are doing a hybrid cloud at the moment are saying, oh, well, I'll, I'll work out how to connect to there. And then I'll, and then all of a sudden they've got this legacy networking architecture where You've got VPNs to here and IPSEC tunnels to here, and and it's just not one network. It's all these little hard to live with things. Yeah, and the question always comes up, right? How how come I cannot take my existing technologies and put them into the cloud? So it's it's like building a hybrid car versus an electric car. <laughs> it's very different, right? You have yeah. to design something from scratch to be able to take it to the next level. You cannot just do it, yep. you know, yep. by patching the existing solutions. They were done specifically for solving certain problems and nothing was done for the cloud era so far. Yes. So this is the first solution of a type that we strongly believe is going to transform the networking industry to mm -hmm. move into the future. And I think the last point I want to raise is that the Alcara solution doesn't depend on the underlying cloud. That is, you abstract your features, your networking sits over the top of and so if the cloud underneath changes over time, the Alkira service does not. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, that's a very important point. Mm -hmm. So if you've been interested with watching today's show and you want to find out more, and we've uh, spoken a little bit about what Alkira is, and thanks to Arma for coming on, get on over to alkira.com and uh, ask for them and uh, tell them that Packet Pusher sent you. Thanks very much for watching. See you later. Bye. Thank you so much, Greg. Hello.